want to get you an update as we move closer to the weekend at the prospects for a warming trend in the Midwest. With all the snow cover on the ground, we still have a long ways to go for the uh, landscape to even remotely resemble spring. But we want to let you know exactly what's going to be happening in the coming days. So let's go to the maps and show you the uh, snow cover as it stood as of Thursday morning. And we still have a huge snowpack on the ground across uh, much of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, in some cases over two feet. Uh, the snow only melting slightly farther to the south. So as I've been telling you for the last few days, this is going to keep the air very well refrigerated and is going to block or at least mitigate attempts of warmer air to get into the region. However, where you have less snow on the ground, it's already going to be warming up as early as Friday. Lots of 40s, 50s, and 60s for the lower Missouri Valley into the Ohio Valley. You see those warmer shades over the plains where there's less snow, but notice the areas that have more snow on the ground. Having a tough time warming up, though, on Sunday we could get into the 40s for the Twin Cities, into uh, Chicago, and points in between across Wisconsin. Michigan still stuck in the 30s. We'll make another go of it early next week. Monday, look at 71 in Lincoln, home of my alma mater at the uh, home of the Huskers, University of Nebraska. Other uh, than a little bit of a cooling trend uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday for the uh, less snowy regions of the Midwest. But as you see, the uh, blue shades over the deeper snowpack, those areas are not going to be warming up quite as quickly because of all that snow. And here's an illustration of what's going on in Milwaukee. You notice the temperatures can't seem to get above 45 degrees no matter how, how hard we try. A lot of times the way that we melt snow this time of year is by getting those low temperatures up. And you notice uh, Sunday night, a low of 35. So when you can get some nighttime lows above freezing, that can help to accelerate the melt process a little bit. So we're taking baby steps here. The good news is that means a low risk of flooding, at least in the short term, from this attempt at a Midwest thaw. I'm Nick Wilchin, The Weather Channel.